Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys, so let's see what we can get done today. First off, I think I need storage for the wheat. I don't think we have any. Let's see, that is paper. That is spatter dog. That is okay. So I think I'm going to stack them. Uh, let's see, we've got. Hmm, I've got a thing over there. We've got this. Yeah, I guess. Of course, that's where the door is. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here. Just going to put it right there. All right, so we'll do that. Then we're going to come back in here and we are going to do this. And we will do that, because we have to. Okay, so that'll give us two more storages. So we'll do one storage as wheat. That's not wheat. This is the wheat, yes. Yes, we'll do one as wheat. And then we'll do one as flour. No, that's cattail flour. Where's the regular flour? Wheat flour right there. Okay. So we'll do that. I need to build a grist mill. And we'll go from there. We'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit while we're waiting and trying to get things done. Um, where to put... Where to put a grist mill? Or do we want to do the Dutch windmill? I've left the Dutch windmill and I didn't take it out. I was going to, but you know what? I decided we'll just leave it. You know what? I'm just going to go with the Dutch windmill. That way I don't have to mess with, uh, that way I don't have to mess with connecting it to the power. Since we have such limited space, I'm going to do that. And should I build it over the water? I'm kind of thinking maybe we should build it over the water. I mean, we have this right here. If we, eh, it's not that far of a run. Of course, I could build it over here too, though. Hmm. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm going to end up stacking a couple more storages over here. I mean, if I put two more storages right there, I could put it right here. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it right. Uh, do, mm, I'm gonna put it right there. Yep. I'm just gonna put it right there. It looks a little funny. It hangs over. I hate how it hangs over. But as long as it's not blocking the path, we're gonna go for it. We are gonna go for it. Oh, that reminds me, guys. I want to thank y'all for letting me know the uh, the name of that mod. Um, I went and took a look at it. And I didn't realize that it was going to be that big of a mod. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I, I haven't decided quite yet. I was under the impression that it only had like two items in it. And that, that has like a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, with, with the way the game reacted the last time, once we got like a big city going on... Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I want to do any more mods that big, that size. Like, you know, if it was something simple like the Dutch Windmill where it was just one item, eh, yeah, I probably would. But, you know, right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I have another, uh, we had discussed it the other day about the, uh, the, the, this thing, the tunnel the levee tunnel about having using one of those and maybe trying to add a water dump to it and make like a pass through that has uh, that has water and you know that that will like get them to wet their fur and all that kind of stuff. So I might build something like that, kind of like a water filled airlock type thing. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. 
but I think we're going to pass on the water extension mod for right now. And yes, I know one, one of those would probably take care of this whole thing. And that's, and that's the reason why I'm not doing it is we don't have that much land that we need to irrigate. Um, so like I said, I'm going to pass, I think a water dump or two would probably situate what we need. So we're just going to go with that for right now. And I'll look at the mod at some point and we might do it on a bigger build, but for, well, I say a bigger build, we'll do it on a map that needs it more. Um, and we'll go from there. So, but anyway, let's keep going. Let's do some things. Let's see. We've got, what do we got? That is my plank storage. Okay, so I have two planks storage. Yes, we do have two planks. Okay, we have two planks. We have two logs. And we are, we're still in the, yeah, we're still in the drought. Okay, so we've got one day left of drought. And I'm kind of thinking that we might end up blocking another, another set of blocks here. Uh, I'm trying to think of which one, which one to go after. So, I mean, our water, the water right here kind of flows off to the side. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we block this guy over here and we see what happens. No, not a damn. So we're going to try to block one more of these and hopefully it doesn't cause like chaos and catastrophe and all that kind of good stuff or bad stuff, depending on how you look at it. Who knows? It could cause a new challenge. I just hope it doesn't upset my, uh, my aqua farm. That's, that's my big concern right now is trying to not, you know, not throw that into a whack. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? That is, that is the wheat. That is great. Paper. Do I have, do I have a, a storage for the spatter dock yet? I don't know if we actually have one. I don't think we do. No, we have one out there. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, no, we do. All right. There's just nothing in there because it hasn't uh, it hasn't had enough time to grow yet. That's all. All right. Okay, guys. So we've got one more one more of these blocked off, and we'll see what happens. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious to see if maybe if I put a block up here, if that water is actually touching in that corner. Or if it's, I mean, because it looks like it's flowing around, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Good things might happen. Bad things might happen. We'll see. All right, let's see. I need, I'm going to need another grill. Because we need to get our food stuff in order. So, I think... I think we're going to utilize the land down here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see here. If we put a grill there, I'm going to have to put in a bakery. It's, no, not a grist mill. Uh, bakery. There it is. Which is longer. Which is going to throw off my thing. So. Maybe. Well, you know what? I could always do. If we did a path right here. Hold on. I'd have room for another. Another bakery right there. Not a, not a bakery. A grill right there. And I could put the bakeries on this side. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do this one. We will do spatter dock. We'll do this one. And we will do bread. 
And I don't have, yeah, I don't have maple storage yet. So in order to do that, we're going to need a tapper and we're going to need another tank. And then I probably need a dedicated field of maple. Okay. And let's see, we also got this up here. So we've got, hold on, let me see. So we've got logs. So if we build over here, they can they can continue, they can run out here and finish building what we don't have range for. But the problem is, is that we have to get down there first. Hmm. Which means we are going to have to build over here as well. Well, they can technically, they there's a, yeah, there's a thing right here. Um... Maybe that's what we need to do. Okay. Or is that a open... Oop, that's an open spot right there. Actually, I could probably just do this. Yes! Aha! The dandelions haven't taken it over yet. Alright, so let me do that. And then, let's see. Let me get... Let me get a small pile. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put this as, uh, as planks. I'm going to set it to obtain. And all we need is like 20, 30 planks. If we, if, I think it holds, what does it hold? 30? 20. All right. So if we, it holds 20, that's enough to build the ladder that we need built over there. So let's try this. Let's see what happens. Like I said, if we can get some uh, get some planks in here, they can I can move some beavers over. Yep, there it goes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So then I will just we'll just cut this out right there. District right there road right there and do I have any extra beavers to migrate we do not in fact we have five vacancies okay so before I can do anything with that we are gonna have to increase our population so six of these is not enough to to get our population higher um, Do I want to do more than that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. All right. I'm going to do it like that. And then let's come back down in here into where are we at? Uh, yeah, decoration. What do we got? Beaver statue. Ooh, that one takes metal. Oh, yeah, because we are... We're, we're these guys. Um, we don't have we don't have a scarecrow, do we? Huh? No, we don't have a scarecrow. We have a bell. We don't get a bonus for the bell, do we? Hold on. No beaver statue. Okay. So no, we don't have have the scarecrow on this one. Alright. Well that's okay. The folk tales are more of the, the farming type of beaver anyway, so that's fine. Alright, three new vats. We're gonna see if we can't raise our population up a little bit and see if we can't get things on the go again. Uh we probably need we've got four free beds. Let me go ahead and build another large barracks. That way we can house them. Uh, 
And then I'm looking, I'm thinking. Uh, I kind of want to put some rooftop terraces in because we don't really have a whole lot. So I'm kind of thinking maybe raise this up to where it's up to that high. That way we have three extra three extra storages and then we cap them off with rooftop terraces. I think that would be a decent a decent thing. A little expensive, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's do that. Let's come back in here with the ladder. We'll do that. We'll do that. And yeah, I probably could have just done individual ladders to each one. And it probably would have been a little bit cheaper, but yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so what what am I going to use the extra storage for? What storage do we not have? Um, that's, that's a good... Th okay, so you know what? We're going to need it for bread. We are going to need one for what? Um, grilled spatter dock, because we don't have... We don't have one for grilled spatter dock yet, so give me one for grilled spatter dock. And then the last one needs to be what? I mean, eventually we're going to get chestnuts. You know what? I'm going to do grilled chestnuts. I know we don't have it yet, but we will have it eventually, so I'm just going to do that. Because we do have all of these chestnut trees down here that we're eventually going to get. And then, I don't know how we're going to ship them back and forth, but we will have it. And then at some point we'll get the maple and all that kind of good stuff and we'll just keep going. All right, are we finally getting extra beavers? Hey, we've got one unemployed, but we have three vacancies? Ah, up here. Yeah, three vacancies. Okay, nope, nope, I gotcha. I gotcha, I remember. All right. So I'm going to wait until we can get a couple more people, and then I'm going to send them over there. That way they can all work together and do things. I say it should only take a few minutes. It'll probably take a cycle to get another set of beavers going. All right, where are we looking at stuff that's looking good? How are we looking on water out here? How deep is our water? Not that deep. And it's still not a, hmm. Okay. I'm really hesitant to put more, put more levees around this. I, I want to, I want to just like go crazy with it and block them all off. But I don't know if that's really going to do us any good. I'm going to build a little bit over here. <laughs> they walk right through the water source block. That's interesting. Let me guess, too far away? 
Too far away. How about now? Now they can read. Wait. It was too far away, yet they put 12. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I was going to say they were walking through here, but it might have been because they could reach it from here. I bet that's what it was. I bet you that's what it was. All right. Well, we're finally getting a decent amount of food. Now that we've got bread and grilled spatter dock coming in. It still seems like the beavers love their potatoes, though. How many are we missing? Three? Oh yeah, it's still three. Okay, so yeah, we're all right. Hey, we made it up to 18. Nice. That means we should have life expectancy. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Work speed is at 15. The next one's at 20. That one was at 12, next one's at 22, and life was at, yep, so they have an extra 20% life now. So all of our beavers should last just a little bit longer, which is good. You know, I just had a thought. Y'all let me know what your, what your opinion on this. The age of a beaver, as of right now, the game, as soon as it has childhood, which I don't know if the baby beavers do any work, then they go into adulthood. They live until basic, they, they live and work until they die. I wonder if they should put in elderly beavers so that at a certain age, they stop working, but they still eat, they still drink. They still, you know, use the amenities, but they become, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a population of beavers that once again, you have to, you have to care for that might not really contribute back to, to the greater good, or maybe they're in a limited capacity to where they can't do certain jobs anymore. You know, like they could, maybe they could still do like the grill and the bakery or something, but they maybe have a reduced speed. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are. What would, what would elderly, elderly beavers do for the game? Would it be a good thing? Would it be a bad thing? Would you like to see it? All right, we've got we've got two unemployed. I think I'm gonna go. Oh no, now we've got five. All right, the beavers just grew up. That is what I was waiting for. All right, right there. Uh, migrate them over to the next district. All right, we migrated all five of those over. They're gonna come over here. They are gonna get that. Let's see. I say that as it becomes as it becomes night. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put in another another ladder right there, and then we're gonna let the other beaver kind of get up here and do a little little wood cutting, clear some of that stuff out. There's not much for him to do, but it's a little bit. All right, so we got that out of the way. Uh, I kind of think we need a we need a path out here. Is what we need. So, do we want to do a path over here, or should we do? You know what? I think we should. We're gonna have to do it straight out from the district center. So 
that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a cut order on these trees. And we're going to go straight out here. All right. Uh, do we have... Yeah, you can kind of reach. Okay, so as soon as he gets that done, he'll run over here and start messing with this. Let's go ahead and start adding in more levee walls. Actually, I don't even need that one. Okay. And then we're probably going to have to have a way to get out here. So we're going to have to do another another one of the levee tunnels, I think. Unless we up and over. Of course y'all are thirsty already. Alright, migrate y'all back. No, they fell asleep. You're not, you're not supposed to fall asleep yet. All right, y'all hurry up and get back over here and get your food and drink on. All right, there you go. Five more, get back over here, get back to work. Once we get this built, I'll feel much better about going out and uh, blocking up the rest of this stuff. You know, we didn't flood this time. Even though we have the same amount of blocks blocked off, we didn't flood. Huh. Interesting. I didn't block off a positive water flow, did I? Hmm. I don't think I did, but... We'll have to wait and see what happens. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this little corner right here. And see what happens with the water. And y'all are already thirsty again, huh? Ooh, nice. They got a path for me. Yeah, I'm not sure that tree is supposed to be there. Now, he just recently popped in. Alright, I need to send y'all back before you get too, uh, too thirsty and too hungry on me. The daily work crew. I still think they should have it to where, well, I mean... I guess it won't matter now that they're not going to have districts, but I still think they should have work crews that you could send to another district on a temporary time frame, you know, have it to where they, you can assign like, like almost like a builder's hut, but you know, they'll go work another district just for the length of the day and then they'll come back to their home district and eat, sleep. And then the next day, they'll, you know, take off again and go back to their work district. I don't know, that might overcomplicate things, but I think it could work if it's done right.
All right, let me see here. Yeah, get... Okay, that one is raised up. All right, yeah, get that built. And then down here... You know what? For right now, I think I'm just going to put another ladder in. That way we have access to the uh, to the water. Because I'm going to need to get rid of some of these barriers. Since we can't build on them. And then we are also going to have to cut down some of these trees. All right. I don't think, I don't think this lumberjack. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't think that lumberjack can reach them though. Um, you know what? Right there. Get rid of. Get rid of that guy. And let's see. Priority tool. All right, that is done. Lumberjack goes there. I'm going to pause this Lumberjack. Raise the priority of that guy. That one's done. Okay, migrate them back. All right. Well, we are starting to uh, starting to get some stuff done over here. So it shouldn't it shouldn't be long, and then we'll have that wall done. And I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna leave this here. I think we're gonna move the district center. I might move it down here. We might put it up on a platform. We might even elevate it up higher. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do with it. But we'll figure we'll figure something out. So, but anyway, I think that that is probably going to be it for uh, for today's video, guys. So we well, we got a little bit of stuff done. We got we got our our farms going. We got our bakeries going. We got our uh, grills going. More foods coming in. Our walls are going up slowly but surely. We're getting that second district walled in a little bit. I'm wondering... I don't know. Part of me says to uh, to get a little bit, you know, a little farm established, some water pumps, whatnot, and then maybe I don't have to move people back and forth so much. And I think we might end up just doing that here pretty soon. I'm just, my concern is, you know, the flooding before we actually get the the walls up. But it didn't do it the last time, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself and as always feel free to share the video on any social media you're using and guys just like to stop take a moment and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful awesome support all the comments all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared it is awesome i do appreciate it and with that being said until next time survivors keep on surviving